particularly Hispanic or Latino women living in this region were sort of more susceptible to the impacts of flaring on the health of their babies. Many of these chemicals we know have been associated with adverse birth outcomes and other contexts, as well as other sorts of respiratory irritants, headaches, and oftentimes communities will even re report really bad odors uh, when they see the flaring going on. Using that information, we're able to sort of filter out the fires that are associated with flaring and understand both where they're occurring and when they're occurring. So that helps give us a more accurate picture of the amount of flaring going on compared to relying on sort of industry data. We can't measure for sure why we see that, but it's sort of part of a larger pattern and trend we've observed over decades. But also we know there's this long history of discrimination and racism in Texas and throughout the country that sort of increases uh, the vulnerability or the susceptibility of women of color. And so the those social stressors coupled with this environmental um, pollution or hazards you know, may create sort of uh, stronger effects uh, for this population compared to others. There's been some efforts to go to the state of Texas to try to better regulate flaring and reduce the frequency of it being used because there's sort of readily available alternatives to capture the gas uh, rather than just to burn it off. Mm -hmm.